take you on a tour of the beautiful 136 year old Waterhouse Residence Museum. This house was built by pioneer William Waterhouse in 1884. Here we are in the parlor of the house. This is in the front of the house, and this is where the water houses would have had more, most of their formal reception. So if they had guests coming over, they would have had their high tea in here as it is set up right now. Another unique item we have in this room is one of my favorites, and that is called a mustache cup, which is this beautiful thing right here. Some other very special items that we have in this room are these beautiful chairs. These chairs were built by the builder of the whole house, Mr. William Waterhouse. This is where the water houses would have had all of their meals. This room actually houses the exact dining room furniture that the water houses had when they lived here. As you'll notice, there's some beautiful wallpaper in here that Mr. Waterhouse was very protective of. Mr. Waterhouse added extra paneling to certain points of the room where either food or wine would have been served. Here we are in the kitchen. Mrs. Waterhouse would have spent an enormous amount of time here preparing all of the meals for her family. She usually would have woken up very early in the morning to beat the Florida heat. Here we are in Charles Waterhouse's room. Charles was 12 years old when him and his father first arrived to Maitland. He actually helped his father build this entire house. Living here, Charles attended Rollins Academy with his sister Stella and later moved to New Jersey where he became an architect following in his father's footsteps. He did come back to Maitland frequently to visit his family and actually designed the local Maitland Library. Here we are in Stella Waterhouse's room, who many of the staff at A&H believe still may be here with us in the house today. Stella moved down here with her family when she was 11 years old and like her brother attended Rollins Academy. Stella moved back once her mother became ill and took care of her until she passed away. And after her mother's death, decided to stay and reside in the family house with her nieces, Helen and Alice Waterhouse. Stella was an avid reader and eventually became the librarian at the Maitland Public Library, the same library that her brother had built. Here we are in William and Sarah's master bedroom. Here you can see that William created a very comfortable and spacious room for him and his wife, complete with his and her closets. This room also houses the original curtains and rug that the Waterhouse has used while, while living here. Mr. Waterhouse also crafted and gifted this beautiful vanity for his wife, Sarah. Here we're in the Waterhouse's family room. This is the room that the Waterhouses would have spent the majority of their personal time, whether it be writing a letter, reading a book, playing the organ, or just spending quality time with their family. Another unique feature about this room is that it houses a beautiful chess table that Mr. Waterhouse built himself. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour today. We would like to thank the City of Maitland, Orange County, United Arts of Central Florida, and the State of Florida, and you, our viewers. We can't wait until we can invite you back to the Waterhouse Residence Museum. Until then, stay safe. Bye.